everyone, I'm here to quickly show you uh, the work in progress about uh, ambient combat. Uh, ambient combat and MCC is the new word gadget that I've been working on, hooray. Um, uh, we will be having like, uh, the possibility to, to draw some, uh, some units on the map, uh, like I did here on the top left, some blue four, and on the bottom, some op four, and on the top right, some uh, independence. So what will this whole thing do? It just checks on the map uh, what is active. So the mission maker determines also what the ambient uh, uh, will show for the player. What will this create? As we move as a player over the map, uh, this will be a combat area, like here in the middle somewhere, between blue 4 and op 4. If I would travel over here, my mouse, I would expect op 4, op 4, op 4, and somewhere in the middle there would be some conflict, and blue 4, blue 4, blue 4. And uh, I would expect the same with uh, the gorillas somewhere over here. There can even be a free point war going on because a blue four, op four, and gorillas are uh, somewhere at the same point. And if I would go over here, then I would expect the op four to be somewhere around here. And as you can see, as a mission maker, you can now draw uh, uh, how the conflicts are on the map. And also, every player uh, will get some ambient units showing. Uh, uh, what they have around them. So if they are in a uh, blue 4 area, like here, uh, there will be only blue 4 uh, units showing for, uh, for, for the player. So every player will get its own ambient, capped to about 3 maximum of each player. And the other uh, limitation uh, is uh, that if you are close by to cities, there will be more ambient spawns than, uh, for example, if you would be going into, in, into the forest area. Okay, there will be a, a much, much lower part. The ambient uh, combat thingies will never be something uh, spectacular, like, like huge attack helicopters or, or whatever. They're usually just some infantry guys or a car or a truck with a very, very occasional chance of spawning a, a, a tank or uh, something very destructive. So uh, traveling over uh, the map uh, can now be uh, an interesting thing as you generate your missions. So if you would generate a mission, let's say over here on OP4, it will be a big OP4 uh, area that uh, as soon as you get closer to that area, more and more units of OP4 will show up. And if you destroy all the OP4 over here, not including the, uh, the one uh, created by ambient combat, then indeed the map will change uh, because there are no longer units on the map that will influence the ambient combat. Ok, let's take a look. So here we are, I uh, enabled ambient and I uh, have been moved close to the OP4 guys and as you can see some boats of OP4 has been uh, created and it's pretty logical, I'm very close to an OP4 area with uh, OP4 units and therefore the ambient will kick in with, uh, with OP4 units. Now let's say I travel a little bit around I've been traveling and traveling and traveling and uh, the boats probably disappear because there's no player nearby again that's the whole check right so uh, it is multiplayer friendly and it finds indeed uh, this is some numbers which I'm not going to explain you but this is basically the ratio uh, chance based on the distance from the player to uh, the area of, uh, of, 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 the, of the site that will determine how may how what is the biggest chance for uh, let's say west or east to spawn. So uh, we've been seeing some, uh, some some blue four over here, but I can see here in the chance that there is a chance for uh, op four to spawn. I'm not going to wait for that because we're going to move. Uh, because we traveled a lot and uh, rather fast. This would normally not happen, but uh, these groups are again disappearing, and it found out that we are very close to the gorilla guys. Okay, great, great, great. So, uh, as you can see, uh, the, the number of groups of the player uh, uh, is, uh, is determined by an absolute maximum, like I said before, and where you are. I now hold a few spawns. They should spawn outside your range. They will never be super spectacular. Uh, but uh, as you travel over the map, it will make a difference uh, as soon as you start moving. If you are a blue four and you go over and you see some friendly units and you go into this, you might hear some fighting going on. And if you go deeper, you will go through enemy territory to a certain mission objective that if you cleared it, will be uh, a lot more blue four going around. Uh, 
I hope that made any sense and uh, I'm gonna make a lot better movie uh, than it's actually finished I'm just showing you guys uh, to let the forum go nuts on uh, on feedback <laughs> all right see you on the flip side <laughs>